Welcome to this review of the brand new Enviro 400 City BYD electric bus. This is the new rollout of the regular production public service buses for London. This bus is going to become the most common type of bus and the most widely used type of bus. So this is not just some new bus. This is going to become the main type of bus you'll go on in London. Let's take a review of it. Now if you remember years back there was the London Electric Bus Trials which were trials of new electric buses to work out which technology of bus was the best and BYD won that contest hands down. BYD superseded and excelled in everything better than any other electric bus they had running in the trial. Now as for the BYD prototype double deck buses, fucking hell those things were fast. I've never known London to have a bus that quick. It'd almost throw you off your feet if the driver went at full acceleration. It took less than 10 seconds to get to 30 miles an hour. As for the production version, the version that's going into regular long-term public service, well, they had to tone that down. It was not really going to happen. They weren't going to have the regular buses in London going that crazy. So this Envy 400 City production version is not as fun as the prototype. That was kind of expected. And also, the thing that's most disappointing about this bus is it doesn't sound as good. They've made the electric motors very quiet on this. The prototype had a far better and far louder sound to it. The Envy 400 City production version is very nice, very well refined. But once the novelty was worn off and once the excitement of this new bus is worn off. The lack of sound will make it a bit boring. But hey, as for me, I like good motor sound. Anyway, if we take a look at this bus, this bus has got the Enviro 400 City Edition bodywork, which is a much nicer looking and more symmetrical looking bodywork compared to the regular new Enviro 400. With the regular new Enviro 400 looking a bit weird looking, the City version has the same styling as the new Enviro 200. Now the most interesting thing about this new bus is how it looks on the interior as this bus has the best looking interior I've ever seen on a London bus. Before we go on to that let's continue looking at the outside and notice one thing that is missing. There are no mirrors. These buses use cameras instead of mirrors, which is a very interesting feature. Now there's one other thing this bus is missing, considering that this is the city version of the Enviro 400, where's the glass staircase gone? The best thing about the city version is it has the luxury premium feature, a glass staircase. But I guess that did weigh the bus down a bit, adding all that extra glass, so it doesn't have that. But, however, with that said, this bus has a different premium feature. Let's take a look inside of the bus, and this is what it looks like. This interior is very nice. Considering that London buses usually have quite plain interiors compared to interiors in other parts of the country. For a London bus, this interior is very good. I'm very happy with this. Also, notice the lack of back window on this bus. That's because all of the batteries are stored in the back. But one thing weird about the Envira 400 City, why they got rid of the middle See? That's this weird, it's missing a seat. That's this why? So let's take a look upstairs. And while sadly it doesn't have the glass staircase, there's something else that is glass. It has got a glass skylight on the upper deck, which is a very interesting feature. And actually, it's a really nice feature. Just when you're sitting on the upper deck going along, you can just look up and see the trees going past above you. Now, as for the weight of the bus, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I've got a feeling that these buses can't have both the glass staircase and the glass skylight, because that'd weigh it down too much. So on this version, they've opted for the glass skylight. And as much as I miss the glass staircase, will passengers really appreciate a glass staircase? Compared to would they appreciate a skylight? Let's face it, for an ordinary passenger sitting on a bus, a skylight is a much nicer feature than a glass staircase. So I think they made the right decision here. And one feature that passengers will appreciate on the upper deck, it's got full height windows upstairs. Compare that to Wright Bus, who put in disgusting tiny windows. Why have they made the windows so small on the upper deck? But Alexander Dennis still goes for the full size windows, which is very nice. So then, let's now take a ride on this bus. Now I have been on these buses in London, but I didn't film them, simply because the traffic in London is so slow nowadays, I just couldn't film it getting up to speed. However, on this day, I found this bus on rail replacement. It went to the Medway towns where I live. Considering that Medway doesn't have electric buses, having an electric bus visit on rail replacement is a very 
strange choice of bus. Now this bus is running from Gillingham to Gravesend, which includes some 50 mile an hour roads. However, the bus driver told me the top speed of this bus is limited to 46 miles an hour. So here's the bus accelerating up to 46 miles an hour. Now I need a bit of sound correction here because the motor is very quiet and the fans are very loud. So I've tried to cancel out the fan noise so you can hear the motor a bit better. This does make the audio sound slightly weird, but, you, but by doing this you do get to hear what the motor sounds like. Let's take a listen to it. Finally, let's just have a little reminder of what the BYD double deck prototype was like. And just listen to how nice the motor sounded this. And just take a look at how fucking fast this thing is. This goes far faster than the production version and is an absolutely epic bus. Let's just have a reminder of it. Wilson 98 
to Herbert. The disorder of the bus is about to move. Elgin Avenue, Nader World Station. Please hold on, the bus is about to move. How do you go? Park Road. Kilburn Park Road. 